Why was Alan Turing more interested in watching the daisies grow than playing hockey? His mother knew, of course. He was obsessed with why things grew the way they did. It was only in the last two years of his life that Turing returned to the subject of biological growth. In 1952, in a paper submitted to the Royal Society, he explained his morphogen theory. Turing's theory is based on a chemical reaction diffusion system. Initially, it was greeted with considerable scepticism, but now it is recognized as a masterpiece of mathematical modeling. For me, it has unleashed artistic potential in the form of visual music, where I combine moving imagery with clarinet performance. With just two Turing patterns, I've succeeded in generating an immensely varied range of visual options. And it's in Typhair's Sonata that I've found complementary patterns of notes. I'll demonstrate a few excerpts. The first movement is based on Turing's hexagonal stripe pattern. The second movement is based on Turing's hexagonal spot pattern. In the third movement, the two patterns are combined. As you will have seen, an extraordinary diversity of forms emerges from my image sequences. It seems I have hit upon a purposeful artistic tool for simulating natural processes. Returning to Turing's original paper for the moment, I think there is no doubt that he has succeeded posthumously in answering the questions he posed for himself. But not everyone agrees. Some remain doubtful that a theory based on mathematics can really solve fundamental problems in biology. It's only through hard-nosed scientific proof that scepticism towards Turing's theory can be dispelled, and such proof is now emerging. Ongoing research reveals that, soon, it will become possible to use morphogens to repair complex biological structures. Turing patterns are all around us, and their influence is legion. They can come to the rescue in semi-arid regions by prompting key interventions between vegetation and climate change. For me, a prime stimulus in creating Turingalila has been a growing awareness of Turing's extraordinary prescience and his newfound relevance in today's world. I want others to share my discovery. Thank you for watching and listening.